Hey there folks, I am bringing you my first of what actually might only be one depending on how you guys respond, uh, Throwback Thursday Matches. This is a uh, re-upload of my very first singles uh, friend battle, friend Wi-Fi battle, uh, back in Gen 4 PBR. My opponent is Skippy the Great. I At this point, I hadn't had my channel for very long. I had already gotten completely annihilated in doubles. And uh, here I was really expecting to get annihilated sing in singles. Uh, Skippy the Great had a bit of a reputation, I remember, for being a fairly good player, and he was bringing a definitely solid OU team. Uh, and meanwhile, I'm bringing crap like Skuntank. Uh, so, um, just goes to tell you what's going on here. So, uh, I let off with my Crobat, who's actually an anti-lead. The idea is to prevent opponent from setting up Stealth Rocks. Uh, I don't have a spinner on this team, so I actually just go ahead and swap out here with a U-turn. Uh, he went for the Extreme Tweet and got quite a bit of damage, and now seeing that he did not go for um, his Stealth Rock, which would have been Tyranitar, I feel safe going out into my Empoleon, um, and I'm just going to set up my own rocks. So that should be fine. Um, this Empoleon is a rather weird set. It is, as you saw from the move selection screen, it has a lychee berry, and the idea is get it down into torrent range. Uh, it actually has a focus sash and lychee berry, so the idea is get it down to one HP. Focus sash um, activates uh, lychee berry. Wait, no, crap! It's focus sash. Oh, I'm going for the torrent, not the, the lychee. Was something else? Um, I think that I had lychee when I was doing um, random Wi-Fi. So anyway, yeah. Uh, don't want to take another fire blast. I go now out into my skun tank. Which I'm pretty sure can take a hit decently well. Uh, he goes out into his Suicune, and if you uh, go back and see the original version of this battle, the original version of this battle was titled uh, Suicune is not an ice type. Um, due to a lot of the fact that I was extremely new at this, I for some reason thought that Suicune was ice type, so um, I didn't actually go for the uh, Fire Blast here, even though I was considering it because I was like, oh, it'll be super effective. It's like, no, it's not going to be super effective. Um, but I figured, oh, he's probably going to switch out, and, you know, I figured Payback was the best choice. Back in Generation 4, Payback did double damage, um, whether there was a switch out or whether the opponent moved. Uh, so, or made a move, rather. So, um, yeah, that did a lot of damage, plus the crit to Tyrantar, even though it was resistant. Here I'm going to withdraw Kenyon, and I'm going to go out into Zapdos. For some reason, I guess I wasn't fearing a Rock Slide or a Stone Edge. Instead, he goes for a Substitute anyway. Um, so, whatever. Uh, this is Tyranitar set. I, you know, again, I'm really, I was really new to this at the time. Uh, another example of me being new to this, uh, Thunderbolt does more damage than Hidden Power, uh, Grass. At, uh, this is Hidden Power Grass. Super effective, but even so, Thunderbolt would have done more damage. Not that it really mattered in this case, because I just needed something to break the sub. Um, but still. So, he goes for an Ice Beam here, proving that he is a special Tyranitar. I actually eat that decently well, not great, but I'm hoping I'm going to should be able to... Oh, I, I go ahead and roost here, thinking, you know, I'm faster, which is good. Um, so he goes ahead and withdraws his Tyranitar, goes out into Machamp, which was a bit of a strange move. I am physically defensive. Uh, this is the, this was the standard physically defensive Zapdos breed. Um, Zapdos set. By the way, I was super, super... If you listen to my original narration, I spent a whole bunch of time um, bragging about how amazing this Zapdos is because um, it was one of my first really successful RNGs. Um, it had great stats and hidden power grass, blah, 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 blah. I was so excited. Funny, he went for the Ice Punch. Uh, I don't think that would have KO'd, but even so, I was still probably... It was, the Jirachi switch was nice. He goes ahead and withdraws Machamp. Um, I, you know, he should have gone out into Tyranitar, I think. Well, that, no, no, Tyranitar would have been a bad move if I'd gone for um, a, an Iron Head. Um, but, so instead I go for the Zen Head, but I'm locked in because I am Choice Scarfed, uh, and, yeah, I just go for another, uh, Zen Head, but I don't know why, that's a bad move, because he could bring in his Tyranitar at any time. I guess he didn't realize I was Scarfed at this point, so I take out his Zapdos. Uh, I mean, Scarf was pretty standard back then, and based, and I think that there were very few Jirachis that were physical that weren't Scarfed. By the way, I'm really sorry for the really poor frame rate, folks. Uh, back in the, when I first started this channel, I wasn't gonna invest... 50 bucks or whatever it was in a uh, PVR capture card. So instead, I um, got a $20, I think it was a $20, uh, USB thing that plugged into my laptop. Oh yeah, I didn't even have desktop back then. So the only thing I could do was have the, um, the thing. So uh, 
yeah, so the frame rate was extremely poor, partially because it was a crappy capture card, partially because I was running this off of a very sad little uh, laptop. Anyway, uh, he went for the focus punch on the Switch, worked out well for him. Uh, amazingly, my Poopa Loop survived the focus punch, the unprotected focus punch, um, and I actually managed to take him out with a superpower. This is a choice banded Mammoth Swine. Uh, I love, I think anytime you've seen a Mammoth Swine on my channel, it's been a choice banded Mammoth Swine. I love, it's actually, I think, been, so it hasn't been this Poopa Loop because I rebred. This is not a, an RNG uh, Poopa Loop. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out here uh, because, uh, I mean, I'm at minus one defenses anyway. So, going to go out into my Jirachi, should be able to sponge whatever hit this Machamp uh, throws at me. Close combat is fine. Interesting that he doesn't appear to be No Guard. Uh, no Guard was a thing, yes, No Guard was definitely a thing back then. So his defenses are now down. Yeah, I mean, I guess he could be, he just wasn't, didn't choose to attack with Dynamic Punch. Uh, but, uh, whatever, I'm going to outspeed, going to go for the Zed Headbutt, and going to take out this Machamp, no problem. Uh, not sure why he didn't switch out. He had a, quite a few viable switch outs at this point. So, uh, I, I am dominating this match right now. I have lost no Pokemon and I have taken out three of his, including some major, major threats. So now Dragonite's going to come out. I decide here that I'm going to sack my Jirachi. Uh, oh, I, I didn't. To extreme speed, I was thinking maybe I could take it. Um, but, you know, I think he might be banned. No, he's not banned because I know he switched out moves. Never mind. But yeah, Jirachi could not take that extreme speed. I'm not sure whether that was because it's not a flawless... Oh, it, oh see the way I had Life Orb, so that really helped. So going to go out now into Fupa Loop. I think in Gen... This was actually a valid movie, but I think in Gen 4... Um, yeah, so right, in Gen 4, Extreme Speed did not get uh, plus 2 priority. It only got plus 1 priority. And so that would have made this a speed tie? Eh... Anyway, that was, I guess, a questionable move at best. But I do take him out, so that's fine. Um, Zapdos probably could have eaten up an extreme speed uh, because it was basically full health. Um, so that would probably would have been a better move. Yeah, basically full health. Also, Kenyon would have been fine. I'm going to save my Fupa Loop because I'm locked in with Choice Band. Can't do anything to that sweet I'm going to go out into uh, Skuntank. Even though Skuntank really can't do too much, he goes for an Ice Beam. It is not a Stab Ice Beam, as I thought at the time of this battle, I'm sure. And here I'm just going to go for... I go for the Fire Blast thinking that it's super effective. That's how sad I was back then. He goes for the Surf. Surf is Stab, by the way. And it's going to not take me out, but it's going to get me pretty darn low. So Skuntank he goes ahead and uses Fire Blast. It actually misses, so saving me the humiliation of seeing that I was a resisted hit. Here I go for the Sucker Punch just to get some damage off on the Suicune before I'm inevitably taken out by another attack. Um, it does, you know, some damage. Better than no damage. I'm assuming I, I might have edited out Leftovers. I, I was big into editing out Leftovers back then. Um, so he could have been... I, he might have had Leftovers, um, but I think my guess is that he's probably a Chesto Resto set. Um... Or maybe not even Chester Resto. Anyway, I go out into my uh, Fupaloo here, and I am hoping that I outspeed, but I don't think I knew anything about speed tiers. I did have maximum speed investment, but he outsped, um, you know, adamant. But uh, I, I actually still don't know what Suicune speed tier is. It must be at least 80? I don't know. Anyway, Mamoswine goes down, and um, yeah, this battle is turning rapidly around, and so now we're actually tied at... 3 and 3. So I go down into, out into my Empoleon, and again, I should have gone for the Grass Knot, but I didn't know that it was a nice type, so I went for the Hydro Frickin' Pump. He goes for the Hidden Power, gets me down into Torrent Range, actually gets me down super, super low. I go for the Hydro Pump, and boosted, thanks to the Hydro, it was a critical hit, boosted by Torrent, I actually do manage to take out the Suicune with a freaking Hydro Pump. That is ridiculous, that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and here he's got a Staraptor out, I, um, he gets off the Intimidate, whatevs, um, and I just go for the Aqua Jump because I know he's going to outspeed, I don't think I was running at many speed EVs in the set, I just get some chip damage off on Staraptor, doesn't do very much, although it is boosted by Torrent, uh, and he goes ahead and goes for Pursuit, so, in case I was going to switch out, it was a good move, uh, that was a good move, um, so Empoleon does go down here, and that is fine. Um, so yeah, oh, so this is his last Pokemon, so I, it was never 3 and 3, it was, what, 2 and whatever. 
uh, it's two and three. But anyway, now I go out into my Zapdos, thinking I should be able, you know, I'm physically defensive, I should be able to eat up whatever he has and go for the discharge and win the match. He goes for the double edge, so uh, neutral damage, uh, not reckless, he gets a critical hit, I assume that critical hit mattered. I'm sure I ran a calc back in the original battle, though I'll run another calc in this battle. Um, Zapdos goes down, I'm like, oh shoot! Um, so now my last, so I'm now down my last Pokemon, it is Stella, my, uh, my Crobat, he is not Choice Scarf, so I'm going to outspeed, his Crobat is extremely fast. Going to go for the Brave Bird, and thanks to all the recoil damage he suffered taking out my Zapdos, I am, I do manage to take him out and win the battle. So this was the battle that really kind of gave me hope that I could be a decent battler and actually post some wins to my channel. Before this, I was really kind of thinking, yeah, this is a joke, I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I just didn't think that I would be competitive. And, you know, maybe I'm not the best battler, but, you know, I've lasted this long. So comment, rate, subscribe, and ciao.